My name's Jeb, and they grew like trees. Let's begin by trying out a few different ways to start seeds. Rock wool, musty peat pellets, paper towel, I'll try some potting mix too. Let's see how they do sitting in a jar of water. Peat pellets failed me already. Wow, paper towel has produced. Did any of the jar seeds come through? I'll prep the organic garden beds by adding some Vermistera earthworm castings. Potting mix seeds are peaking too. City of famed gardens. What can the story of your downfall teach us? Babylon is not a place on earth. Babylon is a place in your heart. Potting soil outdoors was the ultimate winner. to add some vitality to the garden. Did I mention the sunflowers yet? Sprouted seeds are the glory of the garden. As long as they aren't from weeds. Thank you.
Let's add some Bloom Booster. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon were one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Hey. They were described as a remarkable feat of engineering. With an ascending series of tiered gardens containing a wide variety of trees, shrubs, and vines. It is rumored the king built the gardens because his new queen missed her homeland in the mountains. Soon they will be freed. flowers. Winter is ending, and true growth can begin. Selfishness is what traps you in Babylon. The golden leaves at the bottom tell me the plant is hard at work. When you pull the weeds from your mind, love can grow like a tree.
I guess he draws the line at strawberries. Happy Easter, everyone. Flower is opening. I gave the lime tree only earthworm castings, too. Back to the lime tree later. Let's feast. And in that same hour as they feasted, came forth fingers of a man's hand, and the king saw the part of the hand that. Was Belshazzar the king a fan of cilantro mayonnaise with lime? My guess is yes. If you take from the garden, you must give something in return. Earthworm castings will get these flowers bumping. <laughs> Gotta take time for goofing off, too.
Will it be enough to get some real growth? Babylon was a great city. Her merchandise was of gold and silver, of precious stones, of pearls, of fine linen, of purple silk and scarlet, all manner vessels of ivory, all manner vessels of most precious wood, of brass, iron and marble, cinnamon odors and ointments, of frankincense, wine and oil, fine flour, wheat and beasts, sheep, horses, chariots, slaves, and the souls of men. I thought I'd show you my tomatoes. Believe it or not, these are actually the small ones behind me. Here's the big one. Yeah. It's in the trash can. Well, the garden's growing great. And our, our hearts are full of good feelings for you. by the waters of Babylon. There we sat down, yea, we wept, and hanged our harps upon the willows. For they that wasted us required of us mirth. They that carried us away captive required of us a song. Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? time has come for Babylon to fall. This world of technological wonders we've made for ourselves is a lot like Babylon. <laughs> it mirrors the flaws in our hearts. Only through intention can we overcome it. We spend so much of our day's energy on constant stimulation. 
whether it be endless entertainment or unnecessary conflict, the garden's lessons can guide you to safety. The path to freedom is a return to nature, kindness and joy. Find a way to resist. Or technology will make slaves of us all. Learn from Babylon's story. Or be doomed to repeat it. My name's Jeb, and this plant's dead. to only use earthworm castings, but I hear blueberries are fussy about pH. Get details on these earthworm castings in the video description.